Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Cyber Monday haul because Black Friday was so horrible and there was really no deals around. I prefer to go Cyber Monday shopping because there's more sales on the things that I want. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started with a couple of reviews. The first thing that I had to hop on was the Kylie Jenner holiday edition matte lipsticks or the holiday edition collection, whatever you want to call it. So I got... Mary and Vixen. Mary is more of the red. I hope you guys can see that. Um, I will try these on on my website because they are a little bit hard to come off, especially the lip liner, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. This is um, more of the red color, like I said. Vixen is more of the dark purple color. Now, I put this on and it looks dang near black at night. So, it's not, um, I know it's supposed to be more of like a purplish red. This is a pretty color to do ombre with, but if you're trying to make this a daytime lipstick, probably not. It's more of um, night time I would say Mary is more of the daytime so moving on another lipstick that I picked up is the Kat Von D I think this is plan nine it is her green lipstick I haven't opened it oh it still has the thing on it oh man This is her green lipstick. I'll also be trying this on my website as well because that's where I do most of my blogging and stuff like that. Just so I can let you all know how it works. It does come in a cute little package. I kind of really like this. It's very punk rockish. I'll definitely be rocking this one on my birthday. Another makeup item that I picked up is the MAC Prep Prime Highlighter Illuminer, Luminer, something like that. So I actually have it on my face now. You put this on top of your your highlighter or concealer whatever you use to highlight up under your eyes or contour your face and it makes it a little bit brighter I have the issue where I'm already light skin and I try to highlight and you can't really tell it almost matches with my foundation so this helps bring it to light so that way you can see your highlight a little bit better another makeup thing that I picked up which was fairly expensive the most expensive makeup thing I brought yet is from Pat McGrath labs she came out with her own I'm gonna try to show you the packaging there you go I don't want the little glitter things to fall out um, her own makeup line basically if you've seen the girls where their whole entire body is gold that is her makeup and this is the first time she's ever come out um with her own line she normally makes everything exclusive and secretive and she only does everything behind the one ray now we have everything so i'm going to show you what it comes with and do the swatches here it comes with a mixing liquid so you know how the girls are all gold or whatever this is what you use and you only need a little bit of it it also has her colors. I got copper. Um, she does have gold, silver, silver, and bronze. So these are what the little colors look like. They're very cute. It also comes with the eyeliner that is very, very sharp. Um, my mom ended up taking that one, so we ended up splitting this half and half. It was $60 at Sephora, but I paid $30. My mom paid $30 because I don't really care to wear eyeliner because I rub my eyes too much. So this is the metallic one. All you need is a little bit. And voila so know if you all can see that very well and I didn't press my finger into it too much I just lightly glided across it so it is um, a little bit more flaky than um, things if you use like a, I don't know a lot of other metallic colors are more of like an eyeshadow this one is not it's definitely a little bit more coarse but a little bit goes a long way like I'm still rubbing off what's on my finger on my hand so I'm gonna try the other hand for this one so just lightly pressing my finger on it not too much this one is more of the eyeshadow so this one is a lot more soft than the other one 
I will be trying different things out with this one on my website as well. So I'll post my website below. That way you all can go on there um, and check it out. Might not be uploaded today, but it'll definitely be uploaded by this weekend. So I do want to mention her packaging. Yes, these are a whole bunch of sequins on the inside, and I absolutely love these things. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but they're very cool. So I'll find some unique way to try to play with it. So one more thing that I picked up from the mall. So everyone knows Kylie Jenner's 21st birthday um, dress was very sparkly, very lovely. So I found a choker that semi goes with her dress. I brought a similar dress that I'm waiting to come in for my 21st birthday, which is coming up next month. And I saw this choker at Topshop and I absolutely had to get it. It does retail for $22. However, if you're a student in college, you do get a 10% or 15% discount. So definitely make sure you bring your student ID when you go shopping. Last but not least, I picked up the Ite. I guess that's how you pronounce it, natural products. Um, what can I say about this? I tried it already. The shampoo didn't really do anything for me. I actually felt like it made my hair a little bit dry. Um, now, I did try this one. You're supposed to technically condition your hair first, then put on the caramel treatment, leave it on for either 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your hair, and then you shampoo. I don't like the idea of me putting conditioner in my hair. My hair is not clean. I feel like that actually caked on um, any of the dirty stuff that I had on my hair. I prefer to wash it with shampoo first and then go back and use um, the caramel treatment and then the conditioner. Now the conditioner worked very well. One thing that I didn't like was the fact that it came in a very ugly raggedy package like this. Um, it didn't have any protection on it. One of my containers, I want to say it was the conditioner, actually had a dent in it. So it took me a second to get that out. Um, also, the caramel deep conditioner treatment smells like honey and that is the number one ingredient in here is honey and bananas and I hate the smell of sweet smelling stuff I don't like sweets whatsoever so that kind of threw me off a little bit but the conditioner is very nice I am going to give it another try but until then it's like so 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 since I haven't been back in a while I know it's been like two weeks I want to say oh, I still have all this glitter stuff on my hands I am doing a makeup giveaway from Birchbox so if you apply for the very first time you get a free Birchbox so I am doing a Birchbox giveaway also with other makeup box giveaways with free packaging and everything like that so if you check on my website it will tell you how to enter in the rules and everything that you need to do in order to win there will be three winners and I'll be giving out um, packages about every two weeks or so so just double check on my website to make sure that you have everything um, squared away and you know the rules for the contestants so that's pretty much all I had if you have any more questions about any of the Cyber Monday hauls um, things that I did just please let me know and I'll be happy to try them out for you or try them on they'll definitely be on my website uh, sometime this weekend so please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll be back pretty soon